Well, this is Howard Priestley on Phoenix FM 96.7. I've got a, a very, very special show just uh, on its way now. I'm going to introduce two young ladies who are responsible for the Junior Star Singer competition. And this is the, the Halifax part of this. So, first, Amanda, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Oh, to good you. morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> Always give it away, like, yeah, yeah. and Rachel. Hello, hello. hello. <laughs> I'll say that. Hello, That's hello, hello. More That's open. Not, here, right. easy. <laughs> yeah. So Amanda and Rachel. So Amanda, do you want to um, introduce? Yes, Junior Star Singer uh, is happening in Halifax. We're very excited about it. It's one of our northern shows. We've actually just done Liverpool and uh, we did Bradford as well, BCB Radio. Very yeah. excited about it. Um, it's It's been a great opportunity, obviously, for our northern contestants because we've actually had them travelling around as well on the motorway. Some of them have even gone down further down south as well, so they still get that opportunity to sing. Right, <laughs> right, that sounds... Uh, yeah, and... Um, so it's a national, it's not just a northern thing, it's a national Yeah, competition. it's national, it's all across the UK. 13 yeah. different radio stations we're on. Yeah. And... Um, Contestants are singing live on the radio uh, with an opportunity to talk about their songwriting and how far they are with their singing generally. Mm -hmm. And then they're mentored by people within the industry. So TV and field manager um, Adam Fares will be judging the competition and also Anthony Goldsborough, who's a record producer, who the finalists will actually go and collaborate with. Right. One track for the final. Wow, yeah. that sounds exciting, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah. So is it an open age competition as well? It's... Um, uh, yeah, as far as... I know it's junior, but how junior does it be? 10 to 16. Well, we, say, it, yeah. we say 10 to 16. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. 10 to 16. Okay, well, we're going to yeah. go into a, a first song, which is Coldplay's Adventure of a Lifetime, which it sounds like it's going to be for somebody <laughs> uh, let's hope it's somebody in Halifax yes. who's there. Uh, and, and then after that we'll uh, we'll introduce our first contestant Wonderful. so these are Coldplay
Well, as I said, that was a Coldplay with Adventure of a Lifetime. So, Rachel, do you want to... I know, I know we're going to the first contestant, but it's also an important thing to know who's behind this, isn't it? And it's, it's the youth music who've been doing this for quite a long time, yeah. haven't they? Well, I mean, actually, what it is is um, Amanda came up with the, the idea of, of taking music up and down the country to younger people and giving them the opportunity to learn a little bit more about uh, the music indu- industry itself and actually give them the opportunity to sing on air. Um, and um, working alongside youth music for this project um, is, is fantastic because we know that youth music do an awful lot of work with disadvantaged um, sort of young people. Um, and youth music itself is is phenomenal for those who don't really know too much about it it's a national charity and youth music invest in music making projects for disadvantaged children and young people facing challenging circumstances now this could be anything from sort of disability poverty mental health uh, whether they're brought up in care just wherever it's needed most it gives them the opportunity to make music um, but also it gives them the opportunity to hone slightly more um, important skills like personal skills and social skills as well uh, now, youth music have, are involved in about 350 projects across the country every single year, and they help over 75,000 disadvantaged children and young people and give them the opportunity to, to have music within their community. Um, now, so many aspects of, of what they do is, um, you know, they, they help with everything from songwriting, production and performance, and it just gives them the opportunity to see all the different areas of the music industry. And with the help of Youth Music, so many other people have come up through the ranks and are now topping the charts, the likes of Rizzle Kicks, Laura Muller, they, they've worked with um, Youth Music and Youth Music have worked with them to help them and have given them the opportunities where, you know, they are now they've topped the charts, you know, they're doing mm. incredibly well. And and the listeners can do their bit too. We, we are asking everybody to uh, to text donate for youth music, which is just £5. Without well, £5 can bring music to another community, to another young person, and give them their opportunity to have it in their lives. So if anybody would like to do their bit, if they could text YMUS10 and £5 to 7007, that's YMUS10, £5 to 7007, Oh, sorry, 70070, there you go, get my right. words out. Um, and they can help realise an, another young person's dream. And by uh, with Amanda's idea of a junior star singer and all the contestants we've had alongside Youth Music, we really do feel that we're bringing music to a few more people around the country. And that's, that's the idea. Yeah. yeah. And actually, we wanted to say thank you to Mark Pierce, really, because he's our contact at mm. Youth Music. And right. he's helped to kind of engineer this whole, this whole um, tour. Mm. Um, because he goes out on social media and he's f- forever arranging for amazing tweets to go out to make sure that everybody knows about what's yeah. happening. Um, and we've also decided that we're possibly going to help, or I'm going to help with another project which is running next year for youth music, where we're looking at um, a lot of gigs happening in one week. Wow. Yeah, yeah, which we'll, we'll give an update on at, probably at the end of the tour. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's thanks to him, really, because he's helped to uh, engineer it as well with me. So, Excellent. Yeah. All right, right. Well, shall we go on to our our first contestant? Yes, yeah, see what Halifax has got. Yeah. <laughs> right, we have now got our first contestant for Halifax, and it is Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi. Welcome to Phoenix 96.7 and the Junior Star Singing Competition. Very excited to have you. Now, what are you singing for us today? Uh, I'm singing from Lemmy's Dream to Dream. Amazing song. Well, we're going to let you take it away. Good luck. Thank you. I dreamed a dream in time gone by When hope was high and life worth living I dreamed that love would never die I dreamed that God would be forgiving Then I was young and unafraid When dreams were made and used and wasted There was no ransom to be paid No song unsung, no wine untasted 
tigers come at night with their voices soft as thunder as they tear your hope apart as they turn your dream to shame To summer by my side He filled my days with endless wonder He took my childhood in his stride But he was gone when autumn came Still I dreamed it'd come to me That we would live the years together But there are dreams it cannot be And there are storms we cannot weather a dream my life would be so different from this hell I am living so different now than what it seemed now life has killed the dream I dreamed Excellent. Wow. Excellent. That voice. <laughs> Emily, well done. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for coming to take part in the competition. Now, listening to you sing that song, I absolutely adore musical theatre. I love Les Mis. Yeah. What, what made you choose that particular track? Well, it was just because... Well, it was just because, like, it suits, like, my voice and what I love to do is as a singer so yeah okay because you have a really sort of underlying classical tone yeah. in your voice and you have this sort of wavering vibrato that seems almost natural when you go on have, have you had any singing lessons Is um, that something? yeah I have singing lessons at school but I haven't been having them for like too long, like only about a year or so. About a year. So yeah. you've got this lovely, lovely big voice, lovely big range. And there's Thank a you. really incredibly tricky bit in that song, which is where that that one note progresses up after that first verse, which yeah. is very hard to sustain. I thought you did fantastically. Oh, thank you. I have to say that. Um, Emily, what's your, what's, what is your favourite Broadway musical, West End musical? <laughs> Probably Wicked. Probably Wicked. Mm. Fabulous. So next next time, maybe Defying Gravity? Yeah. Is that something you'd be attacking? <gasps> I'd love to do that so much, yes. It's such a great track. Now, I mean, with, with your sort of classical voice and the sort of songs that you enjoy singing, where do you want to be? What's your dream in, you know, five, ten years? Where, where are you headed? Um, definitely musical theatre, so maybe singing for one of the best, best musicals that, that go around, so like Wicked or... Les Mis, something around that area. So, wow. Yeah. And what would winning Junior Star Singer mean to you? Oh, it means so much. So much. Like, I would just... Oh, I'd just have my dream completed. So, yeah. Well, if you dream a dream, sometimes dreams come true. So, thank you <laughs> thank so you. much. Well done. Thank you so much for being part of the competition. We really, really are absolutely chuffed to have you here with us. Thank you. So, uh, what we're going to listen to now is a bit of Clean Bandit with Louisa Johnson singing Tears. I tried hard to make you want me But we're not supposed to be And the truth will always haunt me Even though it set me free And my tears flow like the ocean As they floated in the breeze They were falling in slow motion And they brought me to my knees oh. You're haunting me, taunting me, all in my brain Turn up the light and now all up the maze Fills me with doubt and I'm shouting your name out loud Why do you want to put me through the pain?
was Clean Bandit and Louisa Johnson with Tears. So, Rachel, back to you. Do you want to uh, just tell us again, just a recap as to how people can get involved and, and a little bit more about what, what it's all for? And... Absolutely, yeah. So, uh, obviously, working with Youth, Youth Music with Junior Star Singer, if you want to text donate and help this fantastic cause and bring music to another community and another young person, you can text donate just £5 to YMUS10 and then pound sign and a 5 to 70070. So that's YMUS10, £5 to 70070. And if you love what you can hear today, do get in touch with us at Phoenix96.7 and tweet us which is at Phoenix 967 FM or Facebook 96.7 Phoenix FM or you can find out all the rest of the information on the Junior Star Singer website. Excellent. So shall we go into the next song and then go into the next yes, contestant? Yeah. So we've got Selena Gomez next with Hands to Myself. Can't keep my hands to myself No matter how hard I'm trying to I want you all to myself your metaphorical gin and juice So come on, give me a taste Of what it's like to be next to you Won't let one drop go to waste Your metaphorical gin and juice Oh, all of the downs and the uppers Keep making love to each other Keep my hands to myself Hands to myself Can't keep my hands to myself Hands to myself The doctors say you're no good But people say what they wanna say And you should know if I could I'd breathe you in every single day Oh, cause all of the doubts and the uppers Keep making love to each other And I'm trying, 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 trying All of the doubts and the uppers Keep making love to each other And I'm trying, 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 trying But I can't keep my 
hands to myself now for our Halifax Junior Star Singer, we have got Neve and Josh. And Neve and Josh, what are you going to be singing with us today? We're going to be singing uh, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton. That's a great choice. Eric Clapton, a legend. I'm looking forward to it. Take it away. Would you know my name? I saw you in heaven Would it be the same If I saw you in heaven I must be strong And carry on Cause I know I just can't stay Would you hold my hand If I saw you in heaven Would you help me stand If I saw you in heaven I'll find my way Just can't stay here in heaven. Time can bring you down, time can bend your knees. Time can break your heart. Have him begging, please, begging, If I 
saw you in heaven I must be strong and carry on Cause I know I don't belong here in heaven Well done, both of you. Now, you've picked uh, Eric Clapton, a great legend, yeah. a great legend. Yeah. Why Eric Clapton? Because he's kind of like, like way before yeah, your time, he's... isn't he? And he's been around for so many years. You know, he's still out there. You know, yeah. he's still doing bits and pieces. But he's, you know, not kind of very current. So why have you picked someone like Eric Clapton? I just love old music. Mm. Old from 50s yeah. to early 90s. Great. So you're listening to some of the greats. So... Eric Clapton is, I mean, I've, I've, I know he's fantastic, you know, he's a great songwriter and his, his tone is something unusual, very different, very nice, soft, gentle tone. And when you were singing earlier, I was thinking quite a lot of similarities there uh, with, your, with your voice, of a nice, soft tone as well with it. So you played really well with the guitar and uh, singing, to, singing to Eric. Now, both of you formed this duet. Is this something that you're kind of hoping will keep carrying on if you win Junior Star Singer, you want to, to stay as a duet? How's that going to be? Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the plan ahead? Do you think if you win Junior Star Singer, you'll be singing and songwriting together as a team? Yeah, yeah, most likely. How how did it happen that the two of you got together? Have we, you been uh, have you been singing at school as well together or? We uh, do shows at school, and we were doing Oliver, and we met through that because we're in a um papa together. You do um papa um papa. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got paired in that together as a couple, and then okay from there. Ah. Now, you're a bit of an item as well, the two of you, aren't you? We, we were having a little giggle earlier saying you were a bit like a, uh, a Cher and Sunny. Sunny. Cher. Yeah, Sunny yeah. and Cher from, uh, from the 60s. Um, you know, there aren't that many duets that are out at the moment. Anybody that's influenced you over this or any duets that you think you'd love to be like? Mine is um, Lindsay Buckingham and Stephen X from For Little Matt. Ah, another le- set of legends. <laughs> <laughs> you know your music. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. Well, you know what? It's been great to have you both here at, at Phoenix. We're hoping that you obviously stay in touch with Junior Star Singer. It's been great to hear you both. Neve, tell us a little bit before you go. Your your vocals today, you know, this is, Eric, this is Eric Clapton here. Tell me, if you had a chance now to compare Eric Clapton to anybody current now, who would you compare him to? Oh, um... I don't even know. Um, Anybody out there right now that you're thinking Eric Clapton would be similar to now? Uh, most likely Ed Sheeran. But I, it's I thought not you were saying <laughs> that big. Well, yeah. Well, Ed well, Sheeran's a, a very popular over the Junior yeah. Star Singer tour, and, and quite a few of our uh, young artists have been uh, singing some of his songs. So, uh, yeah, he's obviously a great influence as well. Thank you very much, both of you, and thanks for coming coming to Phoenix. Thank, Thank you for having us. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. It's always interesting to, to hear local uh, artists, especially young up-and-coming ones. And um, Amanda, that, that was that was great, wasn't it? So we're gonna... It was. Amazing talent all round. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to listen to some more amazing talent now as uh, we'll listen to Rachel's latest song. Woo! And then... Uh, after that, you're going to have a have a quick catch up with Rachel as to what she's been up to. Indeed. Okay. I don't want to play this game 
Right, over to you then, Amanda. Well, we've got Rachel now back with us. Hi. Rachel, you know, obviously you're presenting Junior Star Singer and have done obviously since the start. And you yourself now are pursuing your own career within the music industry, being uh, produced by Entity Goals, so you know what it's like. And you've all, almost been like something, somebody f- that the contestants can look up to as well and, and get advice from a little bit because you're already in the business now and you've been recording, heavily rehearsing, you've had some shows. Uh, how's it been? How are things going at the moment for you? Yeah, no, it's going really well. I mean, obviously I absolutely love doing Genius Star Singer. It's, it's, it's brilliant to see all this fresh new talent that's coming out. Um, but it's also great, like you say, to be able to answer questions and everything else because before I you know, was involved in the music industry, I had no idea sometimes how tough it can be, um, sometimes how difficult, difficult it can be for songwriting, to come up with melodies, or even just you know spending a few gruelling hours in the studio. I mean, it's exhausting, but it's so rewarding and it's really nice to be able to say from a, from a point point of experience you know I'm doing that now my EP's coming out you know I've I've been produced this is what's happening Um, and the EP for for all of those that are listening out there the EP something you've developed of your own it's your own concept um you know you've you've written the tracks there but you've collaborated also with Auntie Goldsborough and myself on the songwriting aspect songwriting doesn't come to you naturally does it um, it does to an extent. I mean, I've got better at it over the last year and a half. Yeah, but you um, kind of developed it over time. Yeah, I think you? it does. I mean, yeah. some people can just, I mean, that's it. They, they put pen to paper and, and 10 songs flow out. Whereas for me, I have an idea and sometimes I can sit for weeks on end sometimes just trying to pull that idea out. Yet another time I'll sit down and in 10 minutes write a song. I mean, But you've just now just crazy. written something really good now and you're working on your next music video, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah, absolutely. So... Tell our listeners a little bit about that because I know that was an unusual concept. <laughs> yeah. About a little bit about what it's like waking up in the sun and having all the excitement. Yes, and... <laughs> yeah. Many years ago, I spent um, quite a lot of time. Well, I say many years ago, a few years ago, I spent quite a lot of time overseas in sunshine, and it was very much um, an exhausting yet amazing experience. And it, you know, it very much is when people say that holiday vibe it's all about that it's about that feeling but when you actually live it and you know you just want to go home for a slice of pizza and a cup of tea (laughs) everyone else is saying no stay out enjoy the sun and you get dragged back in and and it just it overwhelms you the song itself is called living the dream because that's very much what it was about and we're shooting the video for it in the first week of september yeah we're shooting a a great video with some great dancers as well out in the sunshine so yes yes. that should be good fun well thank you so much rachel thank you for letting our listeners know all about how things are going with you and uh, best of luck as well for the rest of the tour thank you very much thank you yeah thanks rachel and amanda do you want to just tell us some more information on uh, the junior star singer website and of course and again, yes you know, for those up. of you that don't know already um junior star singer it goes across 13 different radio stations community radio stations around the uk next year there will be more and if you want information about applying for next year you can apply on the Junior Star Singer website, www.juniorstarsinger.co.uk. And all of the different locations have a blog as well, so you'll be able to hear the audio and see some visual material as well from all of the shows from this year on all of those blogs. So, for example, for Halifax for this year, we will have www.juniorstarsinger at halifax.blogspot.co.uk. So you'll see that all the information. And, of course, Youth Music have the information on their website and all of the radio stations have the information as well on their websites excellent well thank you thank you as well rachel it's been a a great great experience Mm. and uh 
we look forward to the results. Yes, yeah, so we're all looking through. forward. We're all keeping our fingers crossed for all yeah. of them. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say how I'm looking forward to wi- winning, but uh, <laughs> who knows? Know. The competition this year is incredibly strong. Um, right. You know, er- everywhere we go, but there's yeah. some amazing talent coming out of all these different places. So, yeah, yeah it's very proud. exciting. Really looking forward to it. It just seems to get better and better, actually. <laughs> I'm getting surprised yeah. every time I go to mm. do a different radio That's show. That's what's nice, because it keeps it fresh for yourselves as well. Oh, absolutely. You know, yeah. you, you're not just seeing the same thing year yeah. after year, you know, you... And yeah. it's always, to me, interesting the choice that young people make because w- when you when people don't work with young people or, or aren't kind of you know in contact as much, there is an assumption that all they want to do is listen to what's in the charts. Oh, God. And mm-hmm. as you've heard, you know, it's, it's, it's just it always amazes me to be honest. Every time I speak to young people, you know, you, and and I think maybe more people should speak to young yeah. people actually yes. see where they're at. Of and, course. Uh, and, and it was nice actually for today in, on this Halifax show to actually hear a couple of contestants that were singing something was a little bit different. Mm, yeah. Um, you know, yeah. very quirky and unusual and mm. something that wasn't so current, which I quite quite liked actually yeah. and hearing yeah. their version of it. And I, I really yeah. did like that. Brilliant. Great. So we're going to wrap up now with another young man who uh, was well, not as young as he used to be, obviously. No, <laughs> that, none of us are. But uh, we're going to finish with Justin Bieber and uh, What Do You Mean? So thanks again. Thank you. Amanda Thank and you. Bye-bye. Bye. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Better make up your mind, what do you mean?